Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ian, welcome to Brokenomics. Today we're gonna to be digging deep into Unique Network and their Quartz crowd loan that is occurring during the next batch of Kusama slot auctions beginning on the 23rd of October with Quartz opening contributions to its crowd loan on the 27th of October just to allow people that little bit of extra time to unbond their KSM. So what is Unique Network? Well, it is essentially a hub and an ecosystem, a layer one solution with an NFT focus that brings with it a lot of advanced features that actually empower the Kusama network. So on top of uh, what we would see, you know, the typical advantages over Ethereum with this being proof of stake, i.e., you know, uh, sustainability, uh, much lower gas fees that can even be sponsored. So to the end user, they are free uh, and much faster transaction speeds. We also see some really cool features like flexible economic models that allow for the rental of NFTs, which obviously you can imagine will be really cool in things like play to earn gaming, but also a pay-per-view or subscription model uh, for creators to monetize uh, you know, their creativity and the assets that they build. Uh, we also have NFT to NFT interactivity and a collection manage management service that allows kind of different levels of privileges or rights for different people working on an NFT project. So you could have owner's rights, admin's rights, manager's rights, somewhere in the middle as well. So yeah, a lot of really cool things being brought to the table here on the Kusama ecosystem by Quartz. So in terms of what we've seen so far from Unique, uh, we've had a massive oversubscription of previous funding rounds, but more importantly, we have a 200 strong team of developers, which within blockchain is an achievement in itself, right? I mean, they're such a scarce and hardly fought for resource. And these aren't just any developers, they've actually won five Web3 grants, which is the second most in history, as well as at uh, last year's Hexama, winning the Community Choice Award and the Build a Blockchain Award. So it goes without saying, if you're winning Build a Blockchain Awards last year, that uh, this blockchain has actually been up and running since August 2020. We also have some really strong backers, some big names in Animoca Brands, and one I can speak to from personal experience working with them a bit is uh, Outlier Ventures, who with their accelerator and incubation uh, processes for early stage projects, really have a template and a framework in place to give the maximum chance of long-term success. Um, they've also been featured by Cointelegraph and Coindesk. Out of the box, it's compatible with the Ethereum Virtual Machine and Inc. But really, the big one for me is this. If an existing NFT marketplace running on another blockchain wants to integrate with the Polkadot or Kusama ecosystems, then in terms of the middleware or backend infrastructure, there really isn't another viable alternative than Unique Network or Quartz in the case of Kusama to go with. Um, we do have to temper these expectations a little bit in terms of Quartz in particular in saying that Kusama itself is the canary network that is not subject to the same level of testing and auditing as DOT is. So, you know, in terms of how seamlessly uh, they can interact and integrate within the Kusama ecosystem, that remains to be seen. So in terms of the success of this project, uh, what we really need to see as the hub for NFT projects building out are strong and lucrative partnerships. Um, we already see a number of these. Firstly, actually a really cool one uh, with the UN and their digital art for climate program. Um, you know, obviously as a proof of stake network, that's more sustainable and uh, ecologically viable. Um, it's an attractive proposition for the UN to get involved with Unique. Uh, we also have partnerships with Remark, who I think some people view as a competitor, but they actually view each other as partners. Um, and a recently uh, won a cool one, actually, which is a real life scavenger hunt game, uh, Forever Has Fallen. So kind of like a Pokemon Go style scavenger hunt. But yeah, it looks really cool. I'd advise you to check that out as well. Um, we also have a big name in Seedify and our curator grid as well. But going forward in terms of scaling these partnerships up, what they're putting in place is a formalized process that allows for the onboarding of multiple projects at once. With their white label SDK or software developer kit, what they have in place is out of the box NFT marketplaces, which include your wallet, the marketplace itself, NFT minting and a gallery. And the cool thing here is that these can be deployed by a regular web developer. So as we said, with you know blockchain devs being such a scarce resource, 
um, you know, having these being able to be deployed by a regular web developer is a very attractive proposition and makes it much easier for projects to build on top of unique or indeed quartz. So to briefly touch on the team, uh, first of all, co-founder Alexander Mitrovich, uh, not that guy, but this guy, um, he really, and especially in an AMA I watched with him, with the, which I will link in the description, along with links to all the unique socials for you guys to check out, uh, just came across an incredibly personable guy, actually, uh, as well as obviously highly competent and knew exactly what he was talking about. Uh, what did come across was that he's a veteran. Uh, he has a wealth of experience in the industry, uh, 30 years leading teams in innovative companies, founding Usetech in 2017 and growing it to, you know, the massive pool of developers we see today. Um, in terms of Greg Zaitsev, uh, he has had a really cool journey uh, that has led him to crypto beginning as a Lenovo master inventor, then kind of, you know, uh, being part of the team that uh, worked on Crypto 100, the world's first large crypto index, then getting involved in the uh, Polkadot ecosystem and gaining an interest in NFTs and kind of this journey just culminating uh, in the formation of Unique. Um, also, Charu Seti, uh, CMO, uh, who I've talked with a lot, uh, obviously in making this video, uh, just a, a highly competent, really nice individual so thanks charu for all your help and also to evelyn key who brought up some really good points um and helped a lot in making this video too so cheers for that guys head of business development for unique is arena carrigar um she's also a polka.js ambassador for western europe and part of her role as well as you know expanding the metaverse and growing this thing out is to really make artists and creators see the value in nfts so in terms of the tokenomics, uh, first of all, to talk about utility, uh, the Quartz token is the governance token as well as the transactional token on the network. So there is genuine utility there. Um, in terms of the supply, we've got 1 billion tokens uh, of which 36, 37 million uh, will be in circulation at Genesis. And we have an inflationary aspect with 10% in year one, decreasing to about 4% by year 10. In terms of the token distribution, we've got 39% for the treasury, 8% going towards the crowd loan, 15% for angel investors, 20% for private sales, and 18% of team and advisors. And as you can see here um, from the token circulation schedule, they have the longest lockup. So in terms of the crowd loan details, um, what uh, Unique and Quartz are really incentivizing here is early participation in the crowd loan. So initially, um, you'll get 750 Quartz per KSM that you bond, and this will decrease down to a floor of 237 Quartz, uh, and this will be limited to 8% of the initial supply of tokens, or 80 million Quartz tokens, will be distributed uh, as a result of this crowd loan, and they'll be done so uh, via a vesting schedule of 10% per month over 10 months. Uh, and on their site, uh, which I'll link in the description, the Quartz crowd loan page, you can see a little calculator that is time sensitive, so it shows you exactly how many Quartz tokens you'll get for staking Y amount of uh, KSM at that particular time, which is cool because you know that's where um, the risk reward lies, right? It's you know the potential fluctuations in KSM value over the 48 weeks bonded versus the potential value of the quartz tokens. If you do stake more than 10 KSM, uh, you get one of these little NFTs, uh, which are cool enough, I suppose. But what is really cool is that when I checked them out, uh, they actually had a floor price of one KSM. So a nice little bonus there. In terms of how you participate, you buy your KSM, transfer it to your polkadot.js wallet. Um, if you are unbonding it, it must be unbonded for seven days. And uh, yeah, before the crowd loan starts, keep a, keep an eye on the crowd loan page and they'll be bringing in more ways to participate as well. So um, as we've seen in other crowd loans, you know, being able to do so through exchanges as well. So yeah, that's the uh, dive we did on Unique and their Quartz crowd loan. If you guys enjoyed the content, please do consider giving us a like or a sub and uh, also definitely check out Unique and their socials. As I say, all the links are available in the description. So yeah, cheers to everyone. Hope you enjoyed the content and good luck.